what the hell mom? The big gun pardon. Oh my god. Holy oh, Jesus! This is not happening, bro. Look at all the smoke weed every day. So yeah, today was the 10 year anniversary of FaZe Clan. I've only been watching FaZe Clan for about 4 years, but it's just super cool to see like this like 10 year video that they put together and they pretty much just like went over the whole history of FaZe Clan and honestly it's a really cool video. Thank fucking god for Havoc Sawmill. I actually love this map. Alright, so let's hope I can get a dub today. I played a couple warm up games before this and I've kind of been popping off so we will see how we do. So pretty much last night we were just driving around me and my friends and I have this one friend who actually has a super nice hot tub as you guys can tell by the title. So we asked him, we're like, yo bro, do you want to your parents and like see if you can have some people over and like we'll go in your hot tub and shit and he's like yeah sure that's fine so we text his parents and they respond back and they're like yeah sure you can have some people over whatnot they just have to change to the garage like you just can't go inside the house because of corona and whatnot which made sense obviously i mean a few friends ended up going over to his house into his fucking hot tub which is literally the greatest hot tub ever like there's no better hot tub than this kid's hot tub said fucking hot tub six fucking times and what i mean by that is he has like a deluxe hot tub like when i say forty thousand dollars it's probably not actually forty thousand dollars but it literally might be the nicest hot tub I've ever been into in my life. I mean, it's got like LED lights and shit. It's got like fountains, like premium water heating. Like it's literally like an iPhone built into a hot tub with its little like dashboard and whatnot. And so I don't know if it's just me, but as much as I like hot tubs, I do get really bored in them because you can only sit in them and do absolutely nothing for so long. I mean, I don't know. Personally, I like pools much more because you can like mess around, move around and shit. Like hot tubs, you can literally only just sit there and talk, which I'm all for. But me personally, I like, I'm kind of a fucking antsy person. I, I'm a physical person. Person. I like to fucking do stuff. I can't just sit down and talk to people for hours on end. Depending on the scenario, I can sometimes, but y you get the idea. So after being in this hot tub for, I'd say, like about an hour or whatever, we decided, like, okay, let's see, let's see what this thing can do. So we start playing with the jets and everything, and we're just messing around with like the temperature and just kind of, kind of just playing with all the settings and just everything this hot tub will let you do. It literally might be the most technologically advanced hot tub I've ever seen in my life. As you can imagine, there is unlimited amount of things you can do in the hot tub besides move around because it's still pretty small. So we're playing with the jets and stuff. We're like like adjusting like the speed of the jets and all that and then all of a sudden we click this one button on like the touch screen that like has a bunch of options on it and shit and out of these like undiscovered holes in the hot tub there's like water like spraying out of that like I didn't even know this part of the hot tub existed so then we discover that these fountains have like speed settings and stuff so you can adjust like the power the speed of like the water and all this and just all this crazy like settings and shit that a traditional hot tub just probably would not have so to play with the fountains for like five to like ten minutes we're like like yo we gotta try we gotta try max settings like we gotta max this thing out like the fact that the hot tub enables you to be able to max out the settings and max everything out literally means that you don't have a choice than to at least try it once so that's exactly what we did we maxed the absolute shit out of the speed the power every little like setting that we were able to adjust we fucking max so there's now four of us sitting in my friend's forty thousand dollar hot tub with the fountain settings on this thing just maxed to a fucking alpha level and i shit you not the water from this fountain was shooting so high it's unbelievable i didn't even know this hot tub was physically capable of shooting water this high like into the air like it was still somehow staying in like the hot tub and like the general body of water and shit but I mean it was going like 15 like 20 feet in the air so we're literally sitting in this hot tub with hot tub water that, that's literally being like shot into the air out of this fountain just raining on us because it's so high up I don't know if you guys have ever done this but anytime like say you have like a hose or just like a like something that's shooting a bunch of water out if you like put your thumb on it you know you can like compress it and make it like shoot like way faster and just like way farther so that's what we did we started started fucking manipulating like the way this thing was shooting so that it was literally shooting 90 fucking like miles an hour just right out of this thing straight up into the air at this point in time that we are literally just soaking everything within 20 feet outside this hot tub just to an unbelievable level i actually have videos of it and the best part about it is that my phone is waterproof and my friend who thought his phone was waterproof was very confident that it was gonna not break <clears throat> and while all this was happening i had my phone out and i was documenting it on snapchat so i'm like taking videos and stuff because i honestly wasn't even sure if my phone was waterproof we just took a fat ass dub so i hope i got a really sick play the game here nice Aw, oh, damn, I thought there was a fourth. Hey, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good game, though. 26 kills. Now, my friend, on the other hand, whose hot tub we happened to be in, had his fucking iPhone 8 that 
was apparently supposed to be waterproof. They're all like, bro, like, be careful. Like, I don't know if your phone's waterproof and whatnot. Shit you not, he dropped it in the hot tub. He's like, I can't find it. I can't find it. This dude was so confident about his phone being waterproof that he deadass dropped it in the hot tub to the point where he literally could not even find it. Okay, I'm just getting fucking spawn killed every time. But anyway, after all the fun shit that we have with, like, my friend dropping his phone into the hot tub and the jets and whatnot... We're like, alright, it's time to wrap this up, you know, we should probably start, like, cleaning this shit up because we literally just soaked everything within 20 feet of the hot tub. So we go to get out of the hot tub and we're like, yo, we gotta, like, shut the jets off and shit because, like, these jets are still spraying at just an unbelievable, like, height and just so much just water is just being shot straight up into the fucking air. And we go to shut the jets off. We can't figure it out. So while all this is happening, my friend is starting to panic because he's like, dude, my parents are in the fucking house right now. So if they come down and they see all the water that we've got just everywhere, like we're like we're going to get fucked. Then we all start to panic a little bit, like trying to figure out if we can shut these jets off so that we can finally just close up the hot tub and call it a goddamn night. After we finally get these jets to turn off and shit, he's like, no, bro, there's no way my parents are going to know. Oh my God, no fucking big deal. All you have to do is take one glance at the hot tub to see the level of the water was about half as full as it was when we got into the hot tub at this point my friend just starts to panic because this is a really expensive hot tub and i don't know i'm like trying to explain it i'm like dude it's not that big a deal you can just fucking put more water in it it'll warm up he's like no bro my parents use this every night like just freaking the fuck out all this is happening we're still unaware of the fact that everything within a 20 foot parameter of the goddamn hot tub is just soaking wet and i actually show you guys a video that i took here of just everything just and just ignore my stupid ass accent because i was Pretty fucking undomesticated at this time. <laughs> I know what you I know what you're doing out of the wall. You'll be still in this tub. Oh okay. my god. Guys, this is no. 11:30. Bro, what happened, bro? Bro, the water just <laughs> fucking <laughs> out of cool. Right. It's so cold, bro. There's water everywhere, bro. This is unreal. Get back into the Oh tub. my god, bro. This is unreal, bro. Okay. Look at his phone and wallet. Bro, it's all soaking wet from the hot tub, bro. Bro, this is unreal, bro. Bloody hell. Yeah, as you guys can see in that video, everything was soaking wet, including my friend's goddamn Samsung. So eventually we all go home. It was a really fun night, you know. We, we didn't think much of it. And then the next morning I wake up to a text from my friend whose house that we were at. And remind you, this is the friend who was trying to explain to me that his phone was fucking waterproof and he didn't have a fear in the world of his phone like ever getting damaged from having it in the hot tub. And I shit you not, this text literally reads, yeah, phone got broke last night because of the hot tub, had to get a new one. Luckily my phone is okay, but I'm definitely not gonna bring it into a hot tub again. Because I just don't feel like it's a good idea to have water in your phone for just fucking long periods of time. But that's not the end of the story. We get another fucking text. And he basically just explains to us that we literally broke the jets in his hot tub last night. And that we literally probably will never be able to go back into his hot tub again. I'm also pretty sure that that hot tub maybe has half the capacity of water that it had in it before we were in it that night. So remember kids, if you ever find yourself in a situation with four of your friends in a $40,000 hot tub... Don't be a dumbass. So if you guys did enjoy this video, that's pretty much all I have for today's Cutcom. I'll definitely be back, obviously, hopefully tomorrow with some more videos for you boys. And I really am just doing my best to grind out these daily uploads because YouTube is a grind and your boy's trying to stay on it. So until next time, it's your boy Swiggle, signing off. Peace. Bloody hell, bro. What is happening here, bro? Bloody hell, bro. What is happening? A bloody fucking bro. Bro. Oh my bro. This is terrible, bro. Bro, this is likely the end of my phone, bro. This is not good, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. If we had anything over there, bro. 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 Bro.